what is good friends and welcome back i want to make this video short and sweet as time is running out we start our conquest in less than two hours so i have less than two hours before producing and publishing this video i just learned that trick it's brand new it's fresh from the factory it's nowhere in the devs note nobody knows about this trick and a friend just found out and he reached out to me and said mag you should uh, share this trick with everybody because uh, i don't think that anyone knows about that so that's what i'm gonna do it's kind of an easter egg and everybody will benefit of that it's it's huge i think it is it's those little things those little surprise that makes the game much more enjoyable and without being said uh let's talk about this but before we do <laughs> i just want to do a touch base on the latest optimization in version 11 as you know the navy took the spotlight out of this version many content creators talk about the navy it's a hype top topic however i think there's a little few optimization that you guys need to remember and it may influence your decision of which unit you should assemble let's start with the unit balance optimization there's two units being affected by this uh, optimization two for the vanguard bomber and one for the rocket truck let's start with the rocket launcher if you've been playing this game for long enough you remember that the rocket launcher was a formidable weapon until the modern units came and then it fell down the ladder i made a lot of video about it i made a lot of rant about it and lilith finally listen and they are slowly buffing this unit last time we had sloped armor and now we have the calibration round so what is the calibration round it's a feature after locking into a target the blast damage of normal attacks is increased by 150 percent starting from the second attack which means first attack with the load time of two seconds nothing changed the reload after six seconds then your round will um, get a 150 percent blast damage buff and this will stay until you reacquire a new target or you move once you go from the reload to a load or first ripple of rockets then you you're gonna lose this 150 percent blast damage increase until the second shot I'm skeptical on this. I wish it would be on the first shot because the rocket truck, that's what made this unit so great. It was a one shot, one kill unit. You could annihilate a howitzer with only one salvo. Now you may be able to do so but on the second round. Is it fast enough so you don't start to lose unit? And when you start losing unit, then you lose that damage um intensity so we'll find out i assemble a rocket truck i will test it on the battlefield but if you guys can test it right now please report it in the comment section and let me know how good is it is it better is it good enough is it uh, does it exceed your expectation let me know i will be curious to um, listen to your feedback okay now for the vanguard bomber this is another great news i have a vanguard bomber i like this bomber quite a lot it's not the most popular bomber but maybe it will after this optimization the first one is called earth penetrator bomb sounds dirty a new modern vanguard bomber feature damage from modern vanguard bombers ignore the damage reduction that infantry troops receive while bunkered which means it doesn't matter if the infantry is in bunker mode or not, you will inflict the same damage. In bunker mode, it will ignore this protection. So this is good news. Um, I know that infantry is not the ideal unit to attack, but this may change uh, with this new feature. Maybe you can consider bombing this unit and let's find out how it behaves. The second optimization is called HE ammo he for high explosive probably a new modern vanguard bomber feature damage from modern vanguard bombers is shared by all visible units of the target troop 
with total damage increase by 2% for each visible unit. Not quite sure how this works, uh, but we will find out. I mean, um, I guess you will deal more damage. I don't know, it's not clear, but like I said, we will find out about that. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, what is that uh, Easter egg? What is that hidden feature in Warpath that nobody talk about? Don't thank me, I'm only the messenger. Thanks, Soul Reaver from Alliance AE44, currently in a conquest. He's the guy who reached out to me and said, Mag, um, do you know that trick where you can hide your units inside your truck? My response was, are you high? And he said, no. And I tried it and I was shocked. <laughs> uh, it's a cool feature. Why Lily didn't talk about that? I don't know, but this, you can definitely use that. So let's say that you are, are in truck mode, all right? So let me pack my base. I'm in truck mode and I'm on the move, you know? Then I feel the danger. Something is up. I don't have enough time to dismiss my troop, remove them, or I could fight my way out, but I may lose. As it's kind of hard to manage everything, especially when you're caught by surprise. So what you do is look carefully. After returning to your command truck, your ground force troops can only re be redeployed once you've built your base in land areas. Recall them now? Okay, recall, there you go. <laughs> it's hidden in the truck. So I hide my howitzer, my um, weak unit, like so, and then I can move along. I don't have to dismiss the troop and maybe lose the buff that I'm currently on. And you do j this just like that. And when you're ready, you unpack your base like so, and your units are still there. You don't have to train them again. How cool is that, eh? Super cool. So you can leave only your armor for protection and you put your units inside your truck so you don't get ambushed. However, if you are into enemy territory, enemy claim land, you cannot deploy your base, then you're stuck with no troop. And if your truck gets blown up, to be honest, I don't know what happened. I would guess that uh, your units don't get blown up. They get relocated, whatever you land after your truck gets destroyed. So there you go. A cool new feature. It could play for or against you. Let's say you want to sneak out and um, you don't want to draw the attention, you want to keep a small footprint on the battlefield, then you pack everything in your truck and you move along. As long as you can deploy your base, uh, you do so. But keep in mind, <laughs> for the enemy, if your truck gets attacked, then you can deploy your base successfully. It means your base will be activated with all the troops inside, fire back at the enemy. That's a cool feature. It could play against or uh, with you, depending of the situation. So there you have it, a cool new feature. Thanks again to Soul Reaver who shared that trick and now I can share it with you friends. So now you know an additional trick that may help you on the battlefield. With that being said, I'm gonna enter the conquest very soon. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.